All right, you guys, today I want to check out how to make this cartoon sticky text effect here in Illustrator. I'm going to go with this font as a reference, right click on the text, create outlines, a right click on group, and I'm going to rearrange the letters a little bit. Also, make sure not to overlap the letters like this. So I'm going to separate them in total, and I'm going to select them all, go to the object, let's go to compound path and select make. And now we're going to go to the effects, path, select offset path and I'm going to go with offset 10 joins around click OK and I'm going to go to the effects again path again and do it again with the offset path click on apply new effect and this time I'm going to go with minus 10 and the join is going to be rounded again click OK but now I'm also going to need to rearrange these letters so I'm going to double click on it and this way I can go and select one of the letters. But as you can see, I only can select the letters which doesn't contain any holes in it. If I go, for example, to the letter A, it won't do the job. So for example, I'm going to go with the letter T and I'm also going to show you how to move the other ones. I also can do it with the letter E. And I'm going to try to move the letter P up. So for that, I'm going to select the direct selection tool and I'm going to go and select all the anchor points from the letter P, including the circle inside. And check this out. I'm going to go and select one of this anchor point and drag it from the anchor point. So now it is going to move it. And here, if you go and select the selection tool, now you can go and rotate the letter P as well, but now you cannot move it around. So it's a little bit more tricky with these letters, but overall it is working pretty nice. Great. After we are done, you can go and double click somewhere here and I'm going to recolor it. I'm going to go to the swatches. I'm also going to add a stroke and it looks something like this. Now I'm going to press Ctrl C and go to edit and select paste in front. This is going to create another copy on the top. And on this one, I'm going to go to the appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to windows and select the appearance. And I'm going to go to the offset path here and I'm going to decrease the offset. Click OK. I'm also going to work with the offset number two and I'm going to increase it back. Maybe minus eight. Click OK. And I'm going to recolor it. And look at that. I'm going to drag it down. And if you want to add some shading, I'm going to select this text. I'm going to bring it somewhere here and I'm going to recolor the fill to black. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl F. I'm going to recolor the fill. Basically, I created another copy on the top and I'm going to bring this on the top here. And that's how you make this sticky text effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.